Welcome everyone to our Wednesday webinar. It is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. We are here at the International Institute of Aesthetic Arts and Beauty, where we specialize in aesthetics and um, lice, lash licenses. I hope everybody is having a beautiful day. It's a little cloudy here, but it's still nice, pretty tranquil. Um, and so we're excited. If you haven't heard, our next start date is July 11th, so that's coming up. It's right after um, the 4th of July holiday. We are currently accepting applications for both our day and evening aesthetic and lash programs. So if you are interested in becoming a licensed esthetician or a licensed specialty lash technician, please feel free to contact us. Um, we have tons of ways for you to contact us. You can reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, um, through our website, um, scheduling a phone call. You can also schedule a tour. Um, you can DM us, text us. We have multiple ways of communication for you to reach out to us if you're interested in the classes that we are offering. So during the month of June, we are going to do a small segment on makeup. So last month, um, in the month of May, we did a segment on waxing. This month, we're going to do a segment on makeup. And as we continue to go through the different topics and subjects and trends of the beauty world, we will be mimicking what we're going over in our classrooms and sharing it with you guys on our webinars. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, that's another way that you can follow us. Um, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, all of those. We appreciate it. We look at it. We notice it and we love the support. So today will be a, just a general segment um, over makeup. We'll be getting into our makeup here in a few weeks with our um, astrology students and talking about all the different types of makeup from airbrush to traditional to mortuary to um, theatrical, you name it, we're going to talk about it. We're also going to talk about um, color psychology and the importance of understanding how to customize colors, how to blend colors, and how different um, features in someone, whether they be prominent or maybe not as um, dominant, you're able to manipulate certain color, going back to color psychology, to make that person look a certain way. So we'll be covering that over the next probably three to four weeks when we talk about makeup. Makeup is such a big industry. Eyelashes actually was um, the accessory to makeup until it took its own name and now it's its own entity where you have lashes where we in Texas offer specialty lash licenses. So if you are interested, please continue to subscribe, listen along, follow. But back to our little makeup segment, we're going to be covering uh, makeup psychology. Um, understanding how color works is going to be essential for people's makeup applications. And everybody sees color a little differently. I have this client that always says that red is pink. I'm like, no ma'am, that is red. But in her mind, it is pink. So that is kind of illustrating the differences of how we all have our own perspectives and point of views. And according to our own lens is how something looks, right? So that's the same with our clients when we're taking certain colors to, again, make their features prominent or not as dominant, um, to accentuate something, cover something, hide something, whatever the case may be, understanding how to manipulate, customize, and blend colors will essentially make you a great makeup artist. Makeup artistry is a part of our astrology program here at the Institute. We cover it all. I'm always talking about all the things we go over. We just got done with body wraps this week. Um, we're, be, we're getting ready to go into makeup. After makeup, we're going to cover business practices. We're also going to cover um, money and how um, money is so essential as a service provider to have an understanding of it, how to um, save and invest and just utilize the tools and resources that you already have, and then also expanding on those tools and resources to make, um, make it grow. But this little segment is going to be about makeup. We're also in conjunction to um, color psychology. We're just going to go through the different makeup products and supplies from infection control of your brushes to um, the different types of foundations, powders, concealer, eyeliner, lip liner, gloss, lipstick, primer, all the different 
products that you can use in someone's makeup application. But first things first, here at the Institute, since we're estheticians first and then makeup artistry is an extension of our aesthetics license, we are then going to um, make sure that we are treating the skin, we're treating the canvas, and then the canvas that we treated has a great makeup application. So one thing that we do here at the Institute is we always practice um, a mini facial before our makeup application. So we use Dermalogica, which most schools um, here in the DFW area use because they are a training um, product line, skincare line. They are all about education. They want their students to learn. They want to educate. They want to um, give the knowledge so that way you can be the best skin therapist you are. Well, in conjunction with that, they also have makeup classes and various other things. But in order to be a great makeup artist, you also have to understand skin and why maybe someone is covering up or needing to minimize or whatever because of skin. When you have a thorough understanding of skin, the different components affected by the skin, and then you also have a thorough understanding of um, ingredients and how those ingredients work in product, the two together will make you the best makeup artist in conjunction with making you the best skin therapist. So here at the Institute, we do a Pro 30. That's one of Dermalogica's um, facials to help prep the skin for the makeup artistry. So that's one of the things you're gonna learn. We're also going to talk about different looks as far as if it's a day look or an evening look or a special occasion look. And then of course, all the different occupations you can have as a makeup artist using your aesthetics license. So if you want to learn more, tune in next week. I'll be picking up from where I left off today to tell you more about color psychology, occupational um, opportunities, and various other aspects that are associated with makeup. As always, DM us, tweet us, like us, follow us, schedule an admissions appointment, whatever you need to do in order to contact us. We are here to help you reach your career goals and be the best version of yourself. Stay safe, stay warm, and um, stay healthy. Have a good one.